Hello Libra, welcome to Beauty True Tarot and this is your reading for the second week of May. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Libra for the second week of May. Ten of Swords. Justice. Three of Pentacles. Okay. The f the magician. And the Hierophant. So here we have Ten of Swords. Looks like Libra, someone is going to have an instant regret. It's like they made a decision, they did something, and uh, in the very next moment they are like, okay, I was wrong. Oh my god, why did I do this? And I shouldn't have done this. It's like they viewed everything themselves. And uh, that's because they couldn't understand your true nature. Maybe this person thought that you are not taking them seriously. Maybe they thought that you are someone else. Because with the three of pentacles, maybe they were listening to someone else's advice and they were taking it too seriously. This person seems to be, um, you know, guarded by someone. There could be someone who is being a third party situation in your case. When I say a third party, it could be anyone. It could be a friend of theirs, their family member, or anyone. And uh, they are giving them some advices. So it looks like that this person acted on that advice and now they have instant regret. They know that they have ruined it all. They are trying to hide their true feelings. Because they know that uh, they have misjudged you. Because with the card of the Hierophant, now this person knows that uh, you are innocent, you haven't done anything, and you are serious from your part. They feel like you are the right one right now, because um, they have made a mistake. I mean, this person is the actual devil. Somehow they know that this person is the reason um, that you are apart from them. I mean, that you both are separated. And uh, then here you have the card of the tower. Looks like that something is about to change. You can expect some positive changes. And it's uh, taking you to the next level. You are rising to the next level. So maybe this person is taking their time. They are trying to figure out what they should do in this situation. But I don't see that this person is walking away or they have any intention of moving on. Even if you are not talking, even if you have differences, this person is not going anywhere. In fact, they are taking their time and uh, it's like um, this person has cleared the fog for you. This third person, they had evil intentions. They thought that they will uh, break this relationship and uh, they can harm you in, uh, in, you know, in some way. But now they know that it's actually working in your favor. So now this person knows that you are the Hierophant. You are wise, you are caring, you are loving, and uh, you have self-respect. You are respected one. Okay? They know that they cannot uh, treat you in, a, you know, in a wrong way, or they cannot insult you, they cannot take your respect away from you. They will have to uh, follow the rules. It's like you are not going to tolerate anything that doesn't make sense or anything that you feel that is uh, harming your self-esteem. So this person knows who you are now. They are way more clear than before. But then with the card of the magician, you will have to wait to see their true feelings. I don't see that they're wearing their heart on sleeves right now. They're not showing you uh, their true face because this person is waiting for something to happen and they know that it will be too early to ask for forgiveness they have done something just right now maybe um, it's a few days ago 
or a few months ago, but it was something that gave you a lot of pain with this ten of swords. And now this person feels the same. They feel the same uh, pain and uh, you know, this is really intense now. However, this is a general reading. This is something to resonate for everyone and the energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. So let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Messages for Libra. Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. knave of pentacles so here we have queen of wands but this queen of wands this person knows that you are not selfish maybe they thought that you were selfish because you were uh, focused on yourself I don't mean that you were being selfish because you were focused or you were not thinking about them them but uh, actually they thought that uh, you are taking some space for yourself and that's not good Maybe they were misguided by someone. It's like someone telling them, okay, we are also in relationship and I have been in relationship, but this person is mean. They are not giving you enough. They are not giving you enough time, attention and love. So I think this person must tell you, they thought like uh, you don't have a right to pamper yourself or you don't have a right to have some time for yourself. And now with the queen of wands, this person knows that this is your speciality. I mean, um, somehow this person is attracted to your confidence, this person is attracted the way you look, this person is attracted um, with your um, fearlessness, yes, fearlessness. They are surprised to see that you are not fearful of losing them. They are surprised to see that uh, you respect yourself more than anything else. And uh, that is something that it, they haven't seen and many people, this person might have had many relationships, but you are the first one like that. And somehow the things that were, um, you know, uh, making them upset before are actually working in your favor. They admire your personality. They feel like, yes, this is the right person. And they have their own identity. They have... Um, their own uh, decisions and they are independent and now here you have ace of cups with this ace of cups your wishes are being granted you are going to receive much more than what you asked for you asked for one doll and you're getting many so it's like whatever you're asking for Libra is um, getting multiplied and you're getting the rewards and then here you have nine of cups I think it's a time that you're focusing on yourself. I see that you're enjoying your time. It's like, okay, I'm only responsible for what I say and uh, I'm not responsible for what they understand. So you know it and you are very clear. I see that you are already tired of uh, giving explanations and uh, you know, trying to make them help to understand you, something like this. So. I see that now you are pampering yourself, you are spending your time on yourself and with the Six of Swords, I see that you are in complete peace. You are getting, you know, somewhere else. You're going somewhere else and uh, this is a process, this is a journey. It's a healing journey. And with this Knave of Pentacles, you already doubt this person. You feel like that this person is a magician and then here we have Knave of Pentacles. So you are already very alert. You are already uh, very suspicious of them. It's like uh, you already know that you are not uh, looking at a complete picture. You know that there is something behind the uh, curtain or something behind beneath the surface. So I see that you are wise enough. You know what you want and uh, it's about... 
giving time to yourself and not trying to find out what others are thinking because time will unmask everyone. Time will unmask this person, okay? Let's check an oracle message for your Libra. Excuse me. Messages for Libra. Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness to recognize that you have the power. You have the power, Libra. Nobody can keep you uh, waiting for them. Nobody can keep you um, stuck somewhere. So you have the power to set yourself free and you are using it. Move back to wholeness. You are complete. With them or without them, it doesn't make a difference. So right now you have your inner strength. You know you can stand for yourself and that is the best thing. And that is the most scary and most attractive thing to them. So this was the reading for the second week of May. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.